Hey everybody, Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Thanks for stopping by tonight and hanging out with us for a few minutes. Back in the new yard tonight, gonna bring you some cool stuff and show you some more stuff that's in here. Like I always tell you, you never know what's around the corner because nothing in here was ever really sorted. So we're gonna start off tonight with this 48 to 50 style Ford pickup. This was an F3, so it was a one ton. This truck has had a lot of pieces taken off of it already. We can look at the front here. We see the grill's already missing out of this. Somebody's already got the running boards off of it. But as we walk around it, it's got a little bit of rust in it, but it's not terrible. Inside the seat frames are there. The door panels there still got some stuff on the dash. Trying to work our way around the back of this truck. The bed's obviously seen better days. Banged up on the side and everything. But one really cool feature about this truck is check out this rear bumper. Homemade job but made to fit the truck, curved all the way around the side, basically all the way up to the wheel well to protect the whole back corner of the truck. Bent all the way around, had a trailer hitch built into it, custom brackets up to the frame. And look at the thickness of these supports. I mean, this was a heavy duty deal. Come all the way around, circle all the way back around, clear up to the other wheel well. So basically protect the whole bag of the truck. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into that deal, or it possibly could have been a factory deal. A lot of the aftermarket bumpers of the day, that's kind of what they looked like. They weren't pretty or fancy. They were somewhat crude, but they did the job because a lot of these trucks never came with bumpers. Just how they were. So you either had to make one or get an aftermarket one. This one possibly could have been an aftermarket with the bends in it, or it could have been something somebody made. The thrust of this truck coming down this side, you know, this rear fender's not too bad. Somebody already cut them a patch panel out of the whole side of the bed over here. Still got the F3 badges on this truck. So still a lot of good stuff on this pickup. Although it's not complete, there's still a lot of good stuff there. I've got a lot of these 48 to 54 trucks in stock, so I do have a lot of pieces for these trucks. So work our way on around this Ford to the next one. We've got a little 66 Valiant two-door sedan. The whole front clip's gone off of this car. Uh, was originally a Slant 6, had the old leaning tower of power in it. But we come on around the back, and the back of the car is all still here. The doors are still here. Trunk lid, the taillight assemblies, the rear bumper, all these little pieces that are really specific to this car are still here, with the exception of the front end stuff. We take a peek inside, the seats are going out of it. But we've still got all the dash components, radio, dash cluster, all that stuff is all still in it. Next car we've got here is a really cool one. It's an old DeSoto, Fire Dome DeSoto. And yes, the Hemi is gone. And I'm sure as the next question is gonna be, the grill's gone. Yeah, the two most popular things out of one of these old DeSotos is missing, but these were such a cool car. They had great trim, they had great lines, big shiny hood ornament. These pop out door handles, this one's kind of busted up, but they had pop out door handles. Neat cars, these old 50s mill cars had great lines, great trim, they really stood out. And for more than just the grills for a DeSoto or for a Mercury Customs, but they were neat cars. You come down this side of it, still a pretty straight old car, still a ton of good trim on it. Even still has an original hubcap on it. But here we can get a good look at these door handles like a lot of these old Mopars had in the 50s. You know, Chrysler used this DeSoto, you push it in and then pull it out. Really unique design. So cool old cars and just something we don't see anymore. The style and the trim. There was no reason for the door handles to work like that other than it was neat and different and cool. So we can kind of peek around the back of this car, the tail lights, a lot of the rear trim still there. It's got a 59 Ford pickup hood stacked on the back. The rest of that pickup is here, all uh, just in pieces. We're gonna catch that here uh in probably the next video so stay tuned if you're into need some 59 ford pickup stuff more of that coming on the next video from the rest of that truck so gonna catch one more for you tonight let's take a look at this 52 pontiac just a base four-door car still got the whole grill in it it's got some dents and dings in it but it all looks good and solid good replatable piece somebody got the lighted hood ornament off of it so chief pontiac's already missing off of this one but once again lots of trim on this car Lots of good stainless. 
Somebody already got a lot of the goodie off the back of it. And somebody used this side for a little bit of target practice. So we take a peek inside. Lots of stuff still in there. Still got the factory clock, the factory radio. Even got some of the original hubcaps laying inside of there. So obviously just a little rougher old four-door, but man, there's a lot of good stuff left on this car. So we got to keep them around. So anyway, that's what we've got for tonight. Next video we're going to bring you is uh, also going to be from the new yard uh, this week. We've got some more stuff coming from Pioneer Village later this week. Um, probably going to be bringing some stuff from the Springfield swap meet later this week. So stay tuned for that, possibly some lives. So definitely want to uh, pay attention to what's going on there. Maybe jump on with us. If, uh, if you see us there at the swap meet, definitely stop and say hi. And uh, that's what we got for tonight. So as always, thanks for watching. If you've got any specific questions, give me a call. 620-786-4428. That number's on the page. Texts and emails don't work. They're never complete. Just give me a shout. We can talk about your project, what you've got, what direction you're going, things like that. So if you're on Facebook, please share the video with your friends. Invite them to come like the page. Hang out with us. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other gearhead videos that I've got. Tell your buddies to come jump over with us. Hang out. The more the merrier. We have a good time doing these. I hope you enjoy them. And as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your evening to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. it wouldn't mean much to me if you guys weren't here with me. So it'd be kind of boring walking around talking into my phone by myself. So thanks for taking some time. Thanks for hanging out with us. And I really appreciate you stopping by. So we will see you soon. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.